Welcome back to MSFS and the Space Shuttle. Before we start, this is a Captain Sim product, so please express any thoughts you may have in the comments section and not through the dislike button. With that said, let's fly. To start the full approach procedure, just click anywhere on the world map, then hit set as departure, followed by fly. This DLC models the atmospheric approach portion of shuttle flight. The autopilot is automatically engaged until 50,000 feet, where it switches to manual. The actual shuttle could fly an autopilot all the way down, but that isn't modelled here. During automatic approach, let's check out the flight deck. The model and texturing is excellent, and the MFDs are a visually accurate representation of the relevant shuttle displays. That said, only a limited number of MFD screens are modelled, and I'm not sure how much of the data displayed is actually live. Of course, any button that isn't directly relevant to the approach phase of flight is inoperative. I will also explain more about systems detail during the flights ahead. There is an issue with the full approach right now where the shuttle spawns in too low. It should reach KTTS at around 50,000 feet. Currently it's reaching the altitude around 150 miles away, making approach impossible. This issue is under discussion on the Captain Sim forum, and I hope a robust fix is implemented in future. In the meantime, it is possible to spawn at 50,000 feet in the correct location over KTTS by selecting the Terminal Area Energy Management Landing Challenge. This activity starts at the autopilot disengage point. Let's first activate the HUD and stabilize the shuttle. The PFD displays vertical guidance in the form of an ideal flight path. Rudder deflection is also shown on the horizontal axis, but there is no lateral guidance. The included documentation shows the approach phases in detail. For simplicity, let's head back to the flight deck and I'll explain the approach on the VFR map. My intention is to fly the shuttle to around 7 miles from the runway, then fly a spiral in line with the vertical guidance until around 12,000 feet. At that point, I'll exit the spiral and begin final approach to the runway. This spiral is known as the heading alignment cone. Managing turn rate is key, as descent rate is determined by the displayed vertical guidance. It takes practice to ensure you're facing the runway at around 12,000 feet. After a couple laps of the heading alignment cone, I reach the nominal entry point, that is, facing the runway at an altitude as close to 12,000 feet as practically possible. I then try to point the reticle on the centre of the HUD at the runway touchdown markers. I'll also arm the drag chutes ready for landing. As the tarmac looms ever larger, I start to flare and drop the gear. The shuttle flare is a high angle of attack and quite a firm landing. Don't forget to pop the chute at wheels down. As we roll to a stop, that concludes this flight demo of the Captain Sim Shuttle. If you found this interesting, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe for regular Sim content. Take care and I'll see you next time.